Want breakfast? Huh? Ready for some breakfast? Why are you so naughty? You're out too? Oh, my ducks are ready to get fed. Oh, you got. Oh, you're gonna steal food today, huh? Everybody wants breakfast. Find some food there, buddy? It's your lucky day. You found all that corn respilled, didn't you? You having fun? Yeah. Why are you trying to eat my shorts, Dahlia? Mm -hmm. Dahlia. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's what you do, you say shoo. What are you doing, boss? This is so cute. Do you too? Do it hard. Catch up. You know what? You like boss? Yes. What's she doing? She's not letting you swing. Dahlia. Ah, uh, she just wants to say hello. Dahlia, you're being very, very naughty. Dahlia just won't let. Uh, she's letting you swing now, huh? So now it started to rain. You happy now? Yes. She letting you swing now? Yes. So I wanted to come on here quickly and explain what exactly is going on in this video and why we're putting this gate up. The video you're gonna see, the video that follows this, is a couple months old. Back a few months ago, we got a letter from my son's school that he was no longer eligible to go to that school, the preschool. Um, it was a preschool through the public school system because our house was on the wrong side of the property and apparently the district line runs directly through one of my horse pastures. My son has autism and because of this, we wanted him to stay in the same school so he could continue to receive services um, and so he could be with his friends and learn to socialize. At the time, we took this letter at face value, so I went out and bought a house that we put on that property. The video that follows is we have to put a gate up in order to actually get the house into the pasture. Um, it's one of those modular homes that they can just deliver. Um, like I said, we took this letter at face value, we reacted to it at face value, but we've learned that it's much more than that. Um, we actually believe and allege that my son has been discriminated against. I'll put a link below to a, an open letter that we wrote to the school system about the situation. If I were to explain it in this video, in this clip, it would take a long time to explain everything. It would be difficult to follow. And frankly, it would make you so angry, you won't enjoy the rest of this video. Um, and I want you to enjoy the rest of this video and the clips that follow. So if you want to read the entire situation, there is a link below. If you just want to enjoy the video for what it is, a cool video about putting in a gate and getting a uh, piece of property ready for a house to be put there, a tiny home to be put there, you can enjoy that as well. Because this is a horse pasture, and actually I just realized that this is all <laughs> electrified, um, so I'm going to take a good step forward so I don't get accidentally get electrified. Anyways, um, this is a pasture, so it is completely fenced in with electric tape, so in order to get in and out of it, we realized that we're going to have to put a gate on this pasture in order to be able to do that. Normally what I do is I step in and out of this tape here and it's not an issue as long as the fence isn't on. When it's on, I'm looking at a heart attack, but if it's not on, I'm okay, obviously. Are we doing it here? Or we want to do it a couple down? I think we should do a couple down. I think we should do it like right there. Cause if, if the goal is to put that and back the truck in with it, then it makes sense to have the gate so all they have to do is go straight back. Well, essentially, I'm going to take out that little bush and the ones around this big tree here. So it'd be kind of cool if you came in and had like a circle around that tree and then it went back. That'd be right. Cool. That's what I mean though. 
You go in this way, not the other way. All right. Well, that's what you always wanted, right? Essentially. That's going to be a big hole. Yep. Yeah. How how deep is that hole? Four feet. You dug four feet down? Yeah. It's nice if this is bent. Oh. Uh. That is a tall pole. You don't know if you need my help with this or not? No. But you're going to stick around. No, I never even want one. I want one probably on the bottom like that. So I think this will be strong enough to hold it up. Well, isn't that what and you I want mean? one on the top that way so they can't push it up. Right. I thought we that's can always how add another be. later. So here's where the fun begins. Well, we always wanted a gated house. Now we're getting it. some slop in it. It's all electrified. I think we're going to have to go higher. Why? We have to go higher. That way you can open it up. It, it's, it's open enough. No, it doesn't open all the way. Well, then just dig the ground out. No. You take no time to do this. Freezing outside A little bit high on the feeling to focus in the corner of my best friend's sofa you were getting by some rum and cola wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you not a smooth talker under pressure sweaty palms ain't making it much better something about you feels so special pretty up from the minute that i met you You did it! Open more. Oh, wait a minute. That thing is literally 16 feet wide. I don't have enough opening. What do you mean? We're running more than 16 feet wide. So we'll have to lift that post out when he shows up. And That's fine. They just lift the post up. It's no big deal. 
And worse things have happened. So yeah, we got the gate in. Um, you can see it right here. We all managed to uh, get through it all without losing a finger, without swearing at each other too much. But we all we managed to get through it. <sighs> Putting in the gate is not that hard. Um, but it's one of those things that just had to be done. So hopefully now they can go ahead and start bringing this um, cabin in next week and don't ask me what we're doing with that cabin once it gets here I, I, we're going to do all sorts of things but um we'll just knock them out one by one and hopefully in a week or so let's try this again in a month or so we will have some sort of habitable habitable abode over there um one of the first things that has to get done is the water lines have to get put in there's no water back here there's wells but i got my own opinion about wells which i won't share right now some dude is driving by. The water line is getting put in. We've already talked to them about it. It's going to be about 600 bucks to have that put in. So it's not cheap, but it's not like going to kill us financially to do that. So that's what we did today. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Leave comments below. If you have any ideas, leave them below. And be sure to like and subscribe because we will have lots of updates fairly frequently. All right. Thanks.